Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Plantera. This is by Radalika Games and I do not know how to pronounce that name on the right. Viragdp Studios or something like that, I have no idea. We'll go have a quick look around first. We have music and sound effect volumes and your language and you can also change your save file but honestly I don't know why you would. You can also come here to check out the credits. Yep, those are the credits. I don't know why it's a question mark. It makes it apply that it's, that it's the in-game help, which there actually is, so I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with that. You also have the trophy menu, and all the trophies are really simple. Just go this far in the game stuff. Nothing too out of the ordinary, so... We'll just hop straight into my game. And away we go. Thank you for gathering almost 4,500 coins in like the 10 minutes I was away trying to get this recording ready, but there we go. So, this is my garden. Your garden can have one of multiple things in it. It can have plant plots, small, um, they're not trees, they're more like, um, Christ, I don't know the actual name of them, but they're like bushes. Then you can have big ass trees, and you can have animals running around. So, I've got a sheep there, just around the middle of the screen, and a chicken going behind one of the helpers. You also have a bunch of helpers running around that will collect stuff for you automatically. You can also collect it yourself by tapping it. And stuff... And by stuff I mean fruit and vegetables and whatever the animals give off as resources. We will drop to the ground after a little while and you can pick them up by tapping them. And you can see just how ready something is for being picked up or tapped or whatever by the fact that it's got an outline around it. If it's got an outline around it, that means it's ready to be tapped to be knocked off the branch. You do also have animals that come in from time to time, like this uh, big grey fox here. But I do have some dogs running around that will scare them away. There are also pigeons and bunnies that will come in. I haven't actually seen any bunnies, but that's probably because I've taken away all my carrots, so there you go. You can buy more stuff for your garden by going down here to the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the shop, I guess. And you can buy more animals and plants using coins. You can have a, a certain maximum amount of plants and animals, but you can also expand your garden out by spending a bunch of money, which I just did. And now I have to spend a bunch more money to expand my garden out even further. However, expanding your garden also gets you a helper, which is nice because having more helpers means there's just more of these blue guys running around picking up stuff for you and making you money. There's also an experience bar on the bottom left there. You can see it's slowly rising upwards. And the higher your experience level, the more stuff you'll unlock to buy. So the next experience level I get, I will get a new tree to plant. You can also tap that little button there to make all of the... Creatures invisible, so you can see all of your stuff. Well, not all the cre all the creatures, and apparently all the bushes and the farm plots as well. That's a little odd. There is also this special item set over here, which you can also spend money on, and they'll do different things. Like I could buy a scarecrow, for example, and it'll scare away. It'll scare away birds. And that means the birds won't pick up any sort of... They won't pick up any sort of, um... What's it called? Well, they just won't pick up anything and take it away. They just do that. You can fend them off using your touchscreen. But... It's more effective to have scarecrows down because it means you don't have to do anything. You can focus your... You can focus your time on collecting stuff for money. And that's basically all this game is. It's cookie clicker. Like, seriously, that's all this game has to it. You click stuff to make it fall off the tree faster. You click stuff to pick it up. And you spend that money on stuff that'll make you more money. That's really all it is. There's not that much else to it. You... I'll just put a couple of things down here if I've got the room for them, which I do. That, that, that's really all this game is. It's just spend all your... Whoop, I, I was actually able to put something down there. Spend all your money, use it to get more money, and just continue onwards. And the, 
little thing they put over the top of it is this little plan system, and there's just no, like, diversity to it. Like, think about Cookie Clicker, for example. Even with Cookie Clicker, there was a bunch of weird shit that could happen that didn't really add that much to the game, but at the same time gave it a little sense of charm and style. This game doesn't really have that. I mean, you've got different kinds of animals and stuff. Oh, there's a bunny. I guess I was wrong. Uh, you've got different kinds of animals running around and there's different kinds of plants and it's all well done and it all works relatively well. You can hear the music in the background. It's bright and cheery and just does stuff. And But really, there's just like nothing here that's even remotely interesting once you've taken the theme into account. There's a bunch of different animals that you can buy, a bunch that you have to fend off, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing else really to this game, except sitting down and waiting for your money to climb ever upwards to the point where the game will literally le let you leave it and then come back and you'll have a bunch of extra money. There's really nothing else and it's kind of disappointing because I, don't, I generally don't mind these sorts of clicky, cookie clicker style games as long as they have something interesting going for them, but this game really doesn't. It just... It just rests on the laurels of being a interactive screensaver, more or less, and that's all it really does. I just find it relatively hard to get any enjoyment out of this. I literally put this game down for 10 minutes and just, like, watched a couple of videos on YouTube because I really didn't have anything else to do in the bloody game. I have everything set up so that animals don't interfere very often, and I can just... I, I literally can just put the game down right now and just let it accumulate money for the next hour or two hours or whatever, as long as my Vita screen doesn't get shut off. It will work perfectly fine. And that's just... That's just the long and the short of it. There, there really is no interaction to this game whatsoever. It's an interactive screensaver. It's an interactive screensaver that seems to run alright, I guess. I mean, I've been playing the game constantly. There are a couple of little weird issues with it that are excusable in the grand scheme of things. Like, for example, listen to this. If I go out of it and then go back into it, you'll hear the music start to glitch up a bit. But it'll be back to normal within a couple of seconds. And then... Uh, sometimes the frame rate will just drop like crazy when you get a promotion, but I mean other than that it runs perfectly fine So I don't really have that many problems with it The problem is there's just there's nothing here. There's nothing here to really say Oh, this game looks cool. Or, this game is worth your time to play now. It, it, it Really doesn't have that much in the way of that does it? There's no no real style to it, there's no real eccentricities, there's no... There's no nothing to keep it interesting for the 10 minutes that you'll be playing it for if you're someone like me. Before you get bored. No, nothing really interesting like that whatsoever. Games like, I don't know, um, what, what was it called? A Dark Room? Where it's constantly adding weird shit for you to do and... All those other weird text-based games and, like, games like that that just keep you going via the substance of just the silly shit they get up to. This game doesn't really have any of that. All it really has is just sitting around tapping on shit until you get bored. That's literally the extent of the gameplay here. And I, I, I really don't have much else to show you, just because there really is nothing else to show you. I mean, you can... I mean, you can customize it to make it look the way you want, but this is actually a disadvantage. Because if you do that, you will not be making the most amount of money. Because the, the stuff you unlock later gives you more money than the stuff you unlock... The stuff you unlock later gives you more money than the um, stuff you unlock first. So, if you... If you want to actually be making money in this game to, you know, buy more stuff, buy the, like, the garden upgrades and the scarecrows and all of that, you'll want to be getting the more expensive stuff. So, you, there's no real even reason to customize the game visually so that you can have your own nice little looking garden. And, again, all the trophies are literally just do X thing X amount of times. So... 
nothing in the way of building a really diverse garden or something like that. So there's really just nothing to it, and... It's five bucks, so I mean... That sort of price is not entirely unjustifiable, but at the same time... As someone who wants at least a little bit of... Anything even remotely interesting in their games... This just doesn't... This just, this just does not hit the mark. It doesn't even come close. And I'm, I've been playing for 10 minutes on camera now and I'm bored as hell. But that's really all there is to it. I, I, I've been playing this game for an hour, more or less, and I'm bored of it. I don't want to play it anymore because there, there is literally nothing to be played except, except just tapping stuff to make it fall off trees ad nauseum. A little bit of a lag spike there. I'm not entirely sure what caused that to happen, but it happened. I really don't have anything else to show you. That's the thing. I, bloody 10 minute videos. Oh, well, at least people are likely to actually watch to the end of this one. So I'm just going to end it off right here because there's really no point to continuing. You've seen everything there is to see. You can even see a slightly more diverse garden going on in the background here, but the problem is, this is shit for making money, so there's, um, no point to having a garden this pretty looking. Well, there you go. I hope you figured out if you want to spend your five bucks or not, but for anyone who has even remotely tastes in line with mine, don't do it. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.